Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on GT7. We are back with a 2 million credit guide to try and help you get these credits as quickly and as easily as possible. So for this event, we are in the Bugatti Vision GT at Kyoto. It's the normal short version and it's driving in reverse. So it's not the extended version, but it's in reverse. And this is quite a fun time trial. It's obviously a group one car, so it's very high speed, high downforce actually have to be very patient on the throttle with this car sometimes just to get it rotated but really enjoyable event so if you do enjoy these guides if they help you out if they help you get them credits quickly and as easily as possible do hit that like button share it around subscribe to the channel it all helps me out doing this full time as a living so let's get into this to enter this event you are going to go into the sport mode section in the top right hand corner from there you will be greeted with the online time trial you're going to click on that and then you are going to go into the one on the left we already have a guide for Watkins Glen so if you need that check that out on the channel as well it'll be in the playlist for two million credits but yeah as you can see from here the current top time is uh 15.6 we managed to get p2 in the world and the gold time is currently at 17.9 but I predict that's going to be about a one minute 17.5 towards the end so that means you're gonna to have to get into the 18s for silver and probably 22.8 or 7s for the bronze so to simply load my ghost up you go into the time trial session then go into leaderboard load ghost and you should be able to select it because the replay is saved on there so let's get into this we are driving on racing medium tires in this group one car high downforce completely flat out the start of the lap you can start a lap on the second lap also that will gain you a bit of time over the line but it's only half a tenth or so but i didn't bother so going into turn one we're going to be looking for the 50 board in front of us breaking just shy of that 50 board you can see it there so braking extremely late there. And now we're gonna go down through the gears and we're gonna try and get this car rotated into the curb on the left. So you're gonna trail brake the car in from here. You're gonna go down to second gear, stop the trail braking just as your cut, your tire hits the curb and then onto the throttle as early as you can. I was a little bit too aggressive there. Had to short shift the third, run a bit wide and probably lost a good 10th of a second already on this lap to the ghost in front of me. However, I decided to send it through this corner that we're coming up to now in fifth gear. So what I do is I use a 50 board as a reference. And then when we just pass that 50 board, we're just going to lift off the throttle and coast it in. You're not going to use the brake because if you use the brake, it stops the rotation. Just lift off the throttle over the curb onto the throttle again before we get onto the curb. And you can see the right hand tire is actually going to go over the grass there and then carry on that maximum throttle all the way through it and just try and keep your left hand tire just about on the curb and your right hand tire has got to stay within the white line. If you do that right, like I've done there, you can carry insane speed and you can see I've managed to claw that 10th back there. So yeah, we managed to gain a little bit back time on that chicane and now we're using the 50 board as a reference on the left hand side, pretty much breaking level with it, maybe a fraction before that 50 board onto the brakes and quite aggressive downshifting and turning in at the same time. So down to second gear, try and get your right hand tire to get onto the curb. Now this is about patience, waiting for that car to rotate. Once it's rotated onto the throttle aggressively in second gear, then up to third gear, and now you're going into this really tricky section. This is a lot of luck involved with this. It's just about sending it in and praying for the best. If you get it right, you gain a lot. If you get it wrong, you get it in lap invalidated completely. So as we come into the end of the curb, you can see there onto the brakes before the end of the curb. And now we're gonna take a big chunk off the left-hand side, keeping the right-hand tire on the gray part of the track there. If you go onto the grass, it's lap invalidated. You've gotta keep it on that gray part. And again, then as soon as you're off the curb, before the end of the curb, you're chucking it back into the right hand side. And again, right hand tire over onto the grass and onto that throttle super early to carry the momentum all the way up to the top of the hill. So now we're gonna go into this long right hand corner and we're just gonna keep it completely flat out. You do not need to lift, just keep it nice and close to the curb on the right hand side and just try and keep it smooth inputs all the way through here because you're not gonna break. It's just flat out using the curbs, basically tiny little bit of curb here a little bit of curb there just keep it as smooth as possible now we're into the final corner which you can see i'm gonna just tiniest little dab of brake i'm not gonna get on the brakes properly it's just a dab of brakes just to get that rotation now i go for this tight line you can go wide like the ghost in front of me you saw it when i showed you the lines but as long as you're lifting off the throttle before the end of the curb and then back onto the throttle as soon as your right hand side touches touches this curb i think that that line might work better if you can get it right if you can get it really hugged into that apex but I didn't quite get that last corner right. I didn't. I also wasn't particularly smooth on that last sector as well. So I think I lost another tenth there. But we still managed to go over the line for a 1 minute 15.835. So definitely a 0.6 in that with a slightly better lap. But I predict this is going to go a lot quicker than that. So I expect to see the top times 
you know, 0.3s, 0.2s around that area because it's going to really increase a lot because I, I can see that I can go a lot quicker here. So watching this lap again from the chase camera, you can see how I lost quite a bit of pace there going onto the grass. Lost a lot of momentum, so a tenth gone there, but we absolutely sent it in here, nailed that. That was almost perfect through that chicane. Don't think I could do that much better. And then into the braking zone, using that 50 ball, down to second gear, waiting for that rotation to kick in before you go on the throttle. So important with this car. You really have to wait for it to rotate, then the throttle down. And now this was pretty much nailed on this downhill section. You can definitely do it faster, but I think I did this pretty well here. You can see we've got the momentum, we've got the rhythm of the car through there, kept it nice and stable, used the curb on the exit, and now powered our way all the way up to this flat out section. Now this could have been a bit better. I'm gonna show you why, because I was a little bit, not, not smooth enough really with the inputs as we got through to the top of the hill here. I was a little bit jolty with the input. So as we come through this left hand corner, I think I hit the curb a bit too aggressive there. And then just was just not smooth enough. See, I went onto the grass a little bit and it just could have been better. Half a tenth loss on that little section. And then this final corner, turned in a little bit too early had to be very patient on the throttle but i think if you do get that line right if you do nail it and get the slightly wider angle in and then get it up to that curb i think that that line will work very well so yeah still a pretty solid lap with p2 in the world when i did this lap it won't be there anymore because obviously a lot of other people have jumped on and improved but yeah if this has helped you out hit that like button subscribe to the channel let me know in the comment section what you got whether you got the silver bronze or gold it's always interesting to read them comments and let us know how it's improved your lap watching this guide. Thanks again for watching, everyone.